Hello and welcome back to another CD Skylines video. It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been doing some other kind of videos. I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're going to be doing a how to video going into 2021. Probably going to be a lot more people come into the game, I would assume, with the Boxing Day discounts and stuff going on. But today, we're going to be looking at how to start your city from scratch, how to get it up in population, in popularity, whatever you want to call it. And to get people moving in. Uh, I think I have the Sadie Strands map. I'm pretty sure that's the one I picked. I'll put it somewhere, probably over here. Without further ado, I'm going to talk about... We're going to pause it. No, I can play it. I haven't built a road or anything yet. Without further ado, let's get into building our city. So, the first thing I want to do... I'm going to pause the game. Okay? When you pause the game... Obviously, everything stops. Obviously. Pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory. No? I hope it is. <laughs> so... When you do that, I'm going to click on your little row button down there, okay? Uh, I like to build with the dirt roads if we have them unlocked. If we don't, I'm going to be sad. We're going to start off by building a little tiny road just like that. Delete it. There we go. Let's see if I have... Do I... Oh, no, they're right here. Here we go. Dirt road. Okay. We're going to plan out our city with this. So I'm thinking that this could probably be a little suburb kind of land. Um, I don't think I have the ability to see, no, I don't have the ability to say that, to see the nature resources and I don't have a mod to do that either. That's going to kind of suck, but whatever. It's okay. Anyway, um, we're going to actually first start off with our one, our one way roads and we're going to build in a little roundabout right here. Pretty easy to do. You're going to put your node right in front of these two nodes. Right in the middle, not really in front. In front of this node, but behind that node. Right in the middle, anyway. I'm going to come out a little bit. I like to go so that the semicircle is just right on the line, just like that. And then I go down and I go from line to line. Just like this. Probably the most simple and easiest way to build a roundabout. Now, there are videos that say you should connect, you know, these to these, right? To brace up your roundabout. Which you can do. I would recommend doing that with the gravel road to save you money though at the start. Which you can do, but if you take your road and you go from this node, this tree is in the way. Delete some of these trees. You go from this node right to this node, it won't do nothing. As long as you're going from node to node, you're fine. But if you go from you know node to node somewhere around here, it'll mess up your circle. Okay, so that's when you'd have to brace up your road. But we're just gonna go from node to node. And there is a mod called the Move It mod where you could, I don't have it installed because I'm doing this without mods so people can follow along. But later on, I will turn on the mods for the PC players to show them how useful some things could be. So, we built our own railroad. It's facing the wrong way. You're gonna click on the little button right here, upgrade road, and just right click it to turn it around. Simple, pretty easy, right? All right. So, I recommend when you first start out with your roads that you start with the two lane roads, right? Because you're going to want everything connected to this roundabout here to be a main road, essentially be a main road, right? Maybe you don't, you don't have to, but if you want to upgrade the roads later, because they sh they're probably going to get up busy, to be honest. So if you want to upgrade them later, I'll show you real quick, hopefully I have enough money. You can see that they're about the same size, right? So if I was to put, you know, houses, which is not a good idea, but if I was to put houses here, which I don't think I can, can I? I can. So if I was to put houses there, and then I upgrade that road, you can see that it's still not going to affect anything. The most common thing to put on these kind of roads is, is the uh, commercial buildings anyway. But you get my point. We're not going to start off with our six lane. We're going to start off with our four lane. Just because there's not going to be a whole lot of traffic coming in here right away, right? So we're going to want to go out. I like to go at about three, three big lines, right? Okay. So each line is 10 units. I like to go at about 10 units, right? 10, 20, 30. That's about as far as I like to go. And then with that, I connect my little road like this, but I want to do it with a dirt road. There we go. Save some money, right? So for the dirt roads, I go at about two. I think. Do I go at about two? Probably just one. No. I have to go at about 12. 
yeah, 12, I get this little space that I want, which I'm gonna leave this space here. Oops, leave this space right here to do pathways. We unlock the pathways, the landscaping stuff. We're gonna put a little path in there, okay? And then I'm gonna do that same thing again. I'm gonna go 11 units so I can still keep that nice little pathway, just like that, right? See the pathway. There we go. If you don't wanna do it, you can, you know, this was like what, 12? Just minus one to 11, and you can just do the whole thing, fill that all in. Hopefully that makes sense, but we're doing it this way because I like it. Now you don't need a whole lot to start off your city. Just need a little bit, just, just a little bit, right? Just, just a little bit, okay. We're gonna go out this way too. Uh, I would assume that eventually this will become a main road, but for now, like I said, since we don't have a lot of people coming in, we're gonna just leave it like this. Actually, this might get upgraded to a six lane later on. So I'm gonna actually also, just so we don't gotta do it later, I'm gonna make that a four lane road. What I like to do is I like to put my single roads onto a four lane road, which the four lane roads will then connect up to these big six lane roads, right? That's what I like to do in my city. It makes everything nice. Uh, there are also some stuff, other stuff that I like to do. For example, you can see that this arrow is going straight and left, so it's doing two things. But if we have a mod, which I'll install later to show the PC people, the players, if I have a mod, I can make it so that this lane only turns left or right, sorry, only turns right while this one goes straight on. And that was gonna help you with the traffic later on down the road. For console players and Switch players, I don't think you can install any mods that I know of. I'm pretty sure you can't. So that's gonna be a, gonna be a problem for you. You're gonna have to just resort to stop signs just like that. Right. Stop signs just like that. Okay, we'll put these stop signs here just for the just for the console players, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes console players need a little love. There was a way to highlight or select the whole road. I just want to, oh, there we go. Just click on the name right there. Click on the name of it, right? Then you click priority, priority road. And if I didn't already have the, <laughs> if I didn't already have the stop signs in, it would have made stop signs for us. We don't actually need one there because they're just going to turn anyway. Let's get our four lane road again. We go up three big lines. And then we're gonna connect our dirt road to this very last one. We're gonna again do our path thingy and you can see that I went right to the very edge, right to the very edge so that everything here is filled in except for where we're gonna put the path. It's always good to start off with a grid. Whenever you're doing your city for the first time, the easiest thing to do that I find anyway, you don't have to, but I find that the easiest thing to do we just do a little, a little basic grid, you know, a little simple grid. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy, you know. I'm not to put these many roads in. I actually, I actually probably should stop. <laughs> that's that's good enough. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk about the power. You got your coal power plant, and you got your wind turbine. Wind turbines don't really produce a lot of megawatts, right? But if you see this dark gray, this dark, I don't know what, blue, green, whatever color it is, I have no idea. <laughs> it's a color. Whatever color it is, the darker the area, the more watts you'll get, right? It's also good to try and place it in areas. So you can see here it says eight megawatts, and then there it says seven megawatts, and then over here it says like what, four? Yeah, four megawatts, five. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so most people, right off the bat, unless they're going for that achievement, are gonna use a coal power plant most of the time. So we're gonna put the coal power plant way up in this corner right here, All right? There we go. We also want, if you have the Green Cities DLC, I'm pretty sure that's what this is, you'll get these inland water treatments, which is actually really nice to have, to be honest. But for those that don't have it, we'll just use our basic water pump, our water outlet. After a while, these pumps will start sucking in the water so eventually these arrows, these white arrows that you see here going this way, will eventually start going the other way. So if I was to put this, this water outlet, which pumps out all the nasty, disgusting water, if I was to put that right beside the pump, the pump would start sucking in the nasty water because they're side by side, right? So if I, the farther I put it, the better it'll be. However, there are some cases where eventually the water will start to go the other way because of these these pumps that are sucking up a whole bunch of water. So if you have like, I don't know, maybe six, seven of these right here, eventually the water will start going back into it. Okay. So these will help with that to not do that for sure. Right. If you want to go to safe route. So I highly recommend getting these 
is an asset on the Steam Workshop that does both. So it's really good. So I'll show you that later on if you want to stop using these these things. Right. I also said that I don't need to use pumps or uh, pipes. I mean, but for the purpose of this video, I will use pipes because we're going into a learning how to do stuff. Right. So I like to put my pipes right on the road, just right on the road, just like that. And then if I go up like what, 440, I'm pretty sure 440, probably go 460 even. Uh, no, 440. Dang, okay. wasting some money there. 440, I go straight across and you'll see this nice overlap, right? See the nice overlap that we get. I'm going to do it again. See this nice overlap. You see it right there? How it overlaps. That's what you pretty much want in your city. A nice overlap. Okay. We'll put this in right there and then we'll give this its own little power. Okay. So we don't have to connect it up to this area over here. Okay. Best way to go. I think five megawatts should be okay for this part right here. And we're going to connect it with these power lines, right? Yeah. Power lines. Just this right here. Oops. Right here. There we go. Okay. And then for this spot, we're going to try and set it up so that we don't have to use power lines. And the best way to do that is plop some stuff around. I hit the wrong button. So plop some stuff around. Okay. You'll notice that we have these four right here highlighted already. Okay. You got your residential zone, your low density residential zone, which is where the people are going to live. Right. You got your commercial, which is where people are going to buy stuff. And then you got your factories, right? It's important to know that the industrial zone and the commercial zone, the residents can work at either one of these, right? So these technically in a way classify as jobs, but the factory is more of a job job kind of thing. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. <laughs> so either way, and then you got this one, this is your D zone key. So if I was to left hold left click and just highlight that it D zones it, the other way to do it is to just right click and dezone it. That's usually the way that's how everybody does it. You just left click, drag, right click, drag, right? Zone, dezone. That's usually how people do it. I, I rarely ever actually use this ever, right? I don't hardly ever use that. You also have your keys over here, your little selection tools. You got your fill, fills in the whole thing, right click, unfills it. You got your marquee tool, which is what I was using to fill in this and unfill it. You got your little paintbrush, paints in a little bit of an area. I've never actually used a paintbrush. I'm not sure what you would use it for, but you know, whatever you do. You. And then you got your big paintbrush, right? These don't all that paint that back in, right? There you go. Just paint anything you want, right? Just like that. Anyway, I don't, I never ever use the paintbrush tool. I usually use the bucket. Or I use the marquee tool. Those are the only ones that I actually use. With that being said, we're gonna fill in these squares, right? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. It's important to when I get down here further, I'll tell you. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's important to know that the industry zone will bring in a lot of vehicles, a lot of trucks, right? They'll bring in a lot of trucks. Okay. So the best thing to do, put this right here and I'll just kind of just zone this area. Hopefully this will come over to this side. If not, uh, we'll figure that out later. Uh, anyway, it's important to know that the industry zone will bring in a lot of traffic. So if you upgrade these roads, as you put in more industry, it'll help with the traffic a lot. That's for sure. Oh, I don't want that. It'll help with the traffic a lot later down the road. Okay, so we're just gonna try and put in these squares here. All right, that's that's pretty much our power. Okay, so you see this blue little circle? Every time that a building builds into that circle, it connects it with hydro. You'll see. I'll leave this open so you can see it. It'll connect it with the power, right? And then because we have all of that going all over here, hopefully, if I did it right. The buildings will connect up with each other. I'm gonna put this here too. Hopefully the buildings will connect up with each other. I'm gonna put that there too. So let's try and see how that will go. We have 60,000 left in the bank. We're gonna hit the space key to play it. I'm pretty sure I have everything. I got the power. Oh, I don't have the pipe connected over here. Ooh, almost missed that. Alrighty, like that, there we go. 
Oh, I also have the thing where I don't have the white thing is whatever this friggin this whenever I click something right Normally you'd get this kind of screen I have a mod so that I can actually see where I'm putting stuff and it turns off that white this stuff right here it Turns off all this white friggin thing so I can actually see what I'm doing, right? So that is also a mod. It's a very useful mod for figuring out where to place stuff I guess I could put that pipe in actually I'll put this pipe in there we go. Perfecto. Okay. All right. So you can see how the pipes work. You overlap it. And there you go. I'm going to connect these and then I'm going to connect this this way. All right. So from here on out, I'm not going to use the pipes and the power lines. If I didn't do what I did, if I don't have this turbine over here, I would have to drag this all the way over here and connect it to there for this area here to get power. But because I got this turbine here, I don't need to do that. All right, so I just, I would have saved money if I didn't put it there, but you get my drift, you get what I'm saying? So this is gonna be its own power, its own thing, connected away from this, right? So this is gonna power the whole city over there. All right, let's go into this view so I can show you what's happening. Okay, so what's happening is, you see these factories, they're building up in these areas only, and it's bringing the power, bringing the power all the way over here, right? That's how you spread the power. Now I had to put in a lot more residential than I thought I needed to, to get these to go up, right? But uh, I did it, so it's good. Okay, so all the power is flowing this way. All the power is going this way, it's great, right? So there, so from there, I mean, we can actually put in some more of these. Now I like the commercial to be down here. I don't like the commercial being right off of the road. So I like to do it one block away from that. I like this to be open and do its thing. I don't think I made this, uh... oh no, it's fine. Cause we're, we're doing the thingy. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so this way, I don't like my commercial being anywhere on this first, I don't know, what would you call that? Intersection, I guess. I don't like anything being there. But if I do go over here and I do it, it'll be fine, okay? Because the cars, well, there's a, there's a thingy here blocking the cars, but when the commercial order stuff, the trucks will literally turn right in, right from, they'll be going down this road here, and they'll just turn right into the commercial instead of going around and around and whatever else. They'll turn right into it, blocking all the traffic. It's annoying as heck. And I don't want that to happen right off of this roundabout here. I want it to happen further down this way. Okay, further down this way is fine. Right off the roundabout, I don't like it. <laughs> so, tease what the tease. You could also, we should also probably, I don't have any money. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Hold up. My bad. One sec. I have to do this. There we go. It's going to make some houses disappear, but it's for the pathway. Okay. You have to have pathways going both ways, right? So you'll see some people where they'll make, they'll leave this space empty right here, right? But they won't leave another space empty this way. So I mean, technically the pedestrians would go up this way. Sorry, let's use this road instead. Really, the pedestrians would go up this way, cut across this way, and then just go back down again or up, right? They've either, it's, it's literally putting, it's like putting another road right here. That's basically what's happening. But if you do it this way, where they have at least somewhere to eventually go up or down quicker, they'll use the path, oh, they'll use the path more. They will most likely use the path more than just walking all the way around right and there's also a mod where you can turn on crosswalks which i will show also later in the video let's get these uh let's get these guys going with some of this there we go you don't want your factory to be on the main road either okay if you do if you put your factory here again the car is going to start going down the road this way and then they'll just stop and turn in, blocking up all the traffic, and then go again, right? We don't want the cars to just stop randomly and start blocking traffic, right? We don't want that at all. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about this stuff, right? So right now we're producing a lot of water and a lot of sorry, a lot of water right here. Here we go, and a lot of electricity. Okay, in here, get out of here. In here, the economy tab, you can micromanage everything. I personally don't micromanage the way that other people do. There's also a mod that actually micromanages it for you. I don't install that mod. I don't use that uh, thing anymore. 
because I find that it's a, it doesn't help at all. It just causes more problems. But I'm going to lower this right down to 50. And if you're playing on day and night, there is a button somewhere to switch it to night. Oh, no. Okay, no. On console, you'd have to use a button. On PC, just slide both of them down. So this, this is the day one. And this is the night one. Okay. And I don't really come in here and mess with it that, that often. So I'll go from like 50 up to 75 and then uh, 100 and then 125, 150, 175, so on and so forth for as much as I need, right? So that's going to start making us money because now we're we're using less electricity, right? We're using pretty much the bare minimum of what we need. So as we run out of electricity, the symbols will pop up and it'll say, hey, we need more electricity. I'll be like, okay, I got you, fam. Don't worry, right? Let's put in this right here. I could probably delete this and make this all green as well. Probably should have what I should have just done from the start and start making even more money. So our whole goal right now is to get out of the negative zone and we can't take out a loan either. So if we if we mess up right here, we literally have to start all over again or take a bailout. And I don't want to take a bailout. But if I had put that in earlier, I probably would have started making a lot more money. <laughs> That's for sure. Anyway, E what it is. So as long as this is plus, we'll be okay. It's gonna take a while for this to go down. So because of that, I will just skip it. Skip on ahead. I'm not probably not gonna do anything anyway right now. We'll just skip on ahead. I'm gonna put in these zones though. There we go. Okay, now we'll skip on ahead. Alright, so we got some shops that came in. We got Big Bite and whatever this is and Big Bite. So let's say that, hey, chillax, we're gonna talk. So let's say that if I wanna keep this building, let's just zoom out because that's a lot of friggin' noise in my ear. Let's say if I wanna keep the way that this building looks, right? I can click on historical building, which will allow this building to level up right here. Each bar is one level, so one, two, and three. It'll allow it to level up, but still keep, it'll still keep its visual appearance. There we go, visual appearance, appearance. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's it's loud down there. That's for sure. Okay. So we can do that for literally any building. Let, let's say that we want to do it for like a house. Let's say, uh, I don't know. Let's say that this house looks uh, interesting. We'll just make that a historical building. This will level up. Three, four, five. It'll level up, but it'll still keep its appearance the way that that looks right there. It'll still keep that look. Same thing with the factories. Let's say we want to keep, I don't know, let's, this looks freaking nice right here. Let's just say that we want to keep this. Same thing, historical. It'll level up three times, but it'll still keep its appearance, okay? This is abandoned. So that means there wasn't, it probably wasn't enough workers here. There's a mod that allows you to auto delete abandoned buildings like this. Let's delete it, there we go. What happened? It'll build something else there, but that, that'll be fine. We're gonna also make this road a four lane road. We go out three. Just like that. Wait, is this is this L3? One, two, three. Okay, I lied. There we go. There, that should be lined up with that road. And now we're gonna get a dirt road. And oh wait, this is gonna be a six lane. This is gonna be a six lane road. So I don't want stuff, I don't want anything attached to that road. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do dead end roads, but we're gonna connect these roads at the Thing there whatever it's called and then we can I don't even think I wanted this there no I don't fine yeah I know you like that you're welcome okay let's just go like that no let's go like this well it's got to connect so we'll just connect it for now okay just so that they can actually come in and out of the city but anyway we got this going on <laughs> it is what it is we got this going on Okay, and then we're gonna want, uh, we don't want this to be, we don't want this here, I lied. There we go, okay. And then this. It's important to keep your commercial along any main major roads, right? You can put your residential here along this road. I would not recommend putting it along a six lane road, like one of these roads. I would not recommend putting it along one of these roads, okay? gonna use these roads only use commercial right only commercial should go on that road we can actually upgrade this 
these roads too, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna cost a lot of money. But you get the gist, the gist of it, right? You see how this car just stopped and went in like that? We don't want that, knowing the tech. They're gonna do it. We just don't want it to do it in important areas like this, okay? We do not want to that to happen. So let's 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 put in some more uh, put in some more industry. I mean, uh, commercial. I mean, okay. <laughs> we're gonna put in some more residential. I can't. My brain has malfunctioned over the season, seasonal holidays. What do you wanna call it? And uh, yeah, it, it, it is what it is now. It is what it is. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Look at that little hamlet. All righty. All right. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So that's basically the main thing. You want to kind of plan out your area. You want to plan out where the roads are going to go, what you're going to do with the highway. I'm going to pause it because now we're getting problems. We're going to pause it. I want to keep the episodes relatively small, but I want to cover enough information about certain things. Hopefully I've covered everything in this video to get you started on your own little city just like this, your own little area, own little town. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.